Hi, all. Okay, first thing, let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come before you, your servant. In the name of Jesus, I die to my own mind. I die to my own mouth. I die to my own heart and die to my own emotions. Father, in the name of Jesus, may your words and only your words come, come through. And Father, in the name of Jesus, I, I plead the blood of Jesus over this conversation and over this video. Father, I ask for a bubble of encryption. It will stop any interference from Satan. And I thank you for that, Lord. And we give you all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise. For we are nothing without you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Okay, so this morning, <clears throat> I actually did another video. I couldn't get it to load. And now I know why. This morning, I read a thing, a prayer request from a lady whose daughter, her name is Ella. Um, they are, the woman, the daughter, and the husband are in the military. He's in the military, and they are deployed out of the country. He <clears throat> was supposed to retire in 2021, and the military won't let him. They won't let him out. So... And he is somewhere in some other country from where the wife and the daughter are. And the daughter needs surgery, an emergency surgery. So we need to be praying first for Ella and for her mom and dad. But the mother also made a comment that um, the reason that he can't get out has something to do with the UN. The UN is messing with our military. So we need to come against that, okay, in a big way today. Today's date is 11-22-2022. That is so powerful in the spiritual realm. We have authority in the government realm right now, okay? <clears throat> Today. So I need you to be praying on this harder than you've ever prayed before, okay? We need to come against all demonic entities involved in our government. Now, the next thing is, and the reason this touched me so strongly is because I don't know if you know, if you're new to following me or new to the, the prayer groups that we're involved with, you may not know that I had not one, but two open visions in Washington, D.C., where I took the sword of the Lord, cut through the Capitol building all the way down the National Mall to the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. <clears throat> through the Capitol, or through the White House, all the way across the National Mall, to the, I don't know, made a gigantic cross. And when it opened, there was a gigantic writhing snake underground in Washington. So that to me and a dear, dear, dear apostle, um, it's indicative of the spirits in demonic activity in Washington. The Lord had me cut the head of that snake off. Then he had me gut it. It was sick. the second time he had me gut it. Um, the Lord is preparing to cleanse Washington. He's preparing, preparing to cleanse our government. I need you to be praying harder than you've ever prayed on this today. Please, please join me in prayer against the demonic entities and outside forces that are interfering with our government and our military. Let's take a stand right now, okay? In the name of Jesus, join with me. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, Son of the one true God, we come against all demonic activity that has been set in motion against our government and against our military. In the name of Jesus, we come against you. We cast you out. We cut off your head. And in the name of Jesus, be gone. Be gone in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the son of the one true God. In the name of Jesus, we declare freedom from demonic activity in our government and in our military. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, please, I don't care how many times you play this over. Pray as never before against these entities. Please join me. Thank you. God bless you.